It's a stunningly sunny day at Leland, which kind of reflects my mood today because in the night we reached 200,000 subscribers on the Chateau Diaries. So thank you so much to each and every one of you who has subscribed. It seems fitting to celebrate with doing all of my favourite things on the channel. We're going to go to a brocant and then have a big dinner all together back at Leland. There is a huge brocant in the local area, so Philip and I are off to see if we can find any treasures for the chateau. First, I'm popping back inside because Joy is leaving. She's been, well, a Joy, and I can't believe it's time for her to go already. Thank you. Oh, sorry too. Oh. <laughs> Maybe she's not coming home, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin, we will not know. There's something waiting. There's something waiting for me. All right, guys, thank you. Love we you. don't want to see you go. We really don't. I will be back. Good. Bye. Bye. No, look at poor Thor. He's looking positively nude. I think he dropped his clothes. You found his outfit. His clothes are just falling off him at the moment. The first time Thor lost his tail, I thought he was sick. I had no idea what was happening and I looked it up and all male peacocks shed their glorious tail every year and it regrows the next spring. But oh, it's sad to see him like that. It's a bit like seeing Aloysius when he's just been shorn and he looks really tiny. Before jumping into the car, I'll quickly see if I can spot the pea chicks. I see Ludwig and Spud over there. Hello, Spud, you magnificent creature. Look at you just hanging out near the blackberries. I know what you're doing. Oh, yes, there they are, look. Hansel and Gretel. I'll try and get a closer look for you. You see, Thor doesn't need his magnificent plumage anymore for the year because he has fulfilled his role as father. He has lovely Hansel and Gretel to show for his magnificence. She makes that clicking sound if she feels I've got a little bit too close. I won't get any closer. They're so lovely. I could sit and watch them for hours, just wandering through the dandelions that are bigger than them. I better run because Philip's waiting in the car and we don't want to miss out on any treasures. I will, however, grab this fat blackberry on the way. Hmm. This is so lovely, isn't it? This just is driving such through. a pretty town. Yeah, pretty little towns going to a poor can't. Idyllic French life. It is, it is. I mean, it's so beautiful. The cars just go on for miles and miles and miles. We managed to get this far, but honestly, I think we're still really far from the Brocante. We'll see. Sonia from the Chateau de la Motte Feuille is here. We're going to be meeting her here. Uh, we know she's wearing a yellow skirt. I'm not sure how easy it's going to be to spot her in the crowds, though. I know it's a bit weird to show you the graveyard, but Every cemetery around the world is so different. I thought you might be interested to see what French cemeteries look like. This is a very, very typical French cemetery. Yeah, I never know what's, what's up with the, um, the conservatories. Yeah, there's little glass houses over some of the graves Getting to weather. protect them, I think, from yeah. the weather. Yes. I just thought I'd show you as it's so typically French. It's starting to feel like a full on hike, I'm going to be honest. Uh. I think our walking Cortona was slightly shorter. <laughs> Maybe it's every time I put this hat on, I end up on a hike. We've made it to the Brocante and it was worth the walk. So this picture perfect France. So the right hand side first and then come back on the left side. You always plan very meticulously, don't you? I want to see you? everything. I'm always very organized. All right, let's go. I like this stall. There is a stunning engraving. It's so, so delicate. And then I love the bed crown. Yeah, isn't that a beautiful bed crown? It's lovely. I actually don't think we need it at Leland, but it's a really nice piece. Don't think we need it. <laughs> Some lucky people have that bed crown. I'm sure it's going to a nice home. Lots of asparagus plates. In fact, no, one is an asparagus plate. The other is a leek plate. No, we think we need the leek. Don't think so, but it's I've the first leek plate. I was going to say the same thing. It's the first leek plate I've ever seen. I don't think we need it though, huh? We might come back for a leaf plate later. We're really not going to come back I, with a leaf might. plate. I really like it. We'll see. <laughs> We're not coming back for a leaf plate. Yellow teapot. What a colour. The turtle. Yeah. It's so, so cute. I actually really like the turtle. Yeah, it's very really cute. This one's not bad either. I like that one. How long are you intending to spend on the brooch section? I'm wondering if I should get the turtle. I might need the turtle. 
All of these molds put me in the mood for cooking. Oh, so, so Philip, with his eagle eye, spotted these two golden pelmets, and they are gold leaf, and they're quite lovely. We think they're the right size for La Land. That is the only thing that I'm not too, too sure of. Oh, I think we should ask the price of those. Like a, uh, gold leaf. Yeah, I like them very much. You managed to negotiate down from 250 to 200? Yes. And they'll be stunning at La Lande, so yeah. I'm happy. I'm thinking rose, what are you thinking? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right, Chambre Rose. Mm. And if they don't fit there, we know that they'll fit in the bathroom windows. Oh, definitely. In other rooms, so I know that we'll be able to use them. Yeah. Really nice spot, Philip. Thank you. So in France, people still use checks, which makes it much easier, actually, at a ball car. Oh, look at that, darling. It's an individual chocolate pot for one person. Just to give you a size comparison, there's my hand. You've got small hands. Tiny, tiny, tiny. I love that. Do not need it, though. Step away from the chocolatière, Stephanie. Oh, the views from up here are spellbinding. And look, if I just move to one side and see, there's a, a stunning chateau down there. Isn't that magical? Well, we're really in France today. This is a collection of fèves. Now, fèves just means bean in French, and that's because you used to put beans in the little French cakes to find as a surprise. And then they started making them into little porcelain figures, but they're still called fèves. So we have little baby Jesus in a crib, and lots of various different figures. Oh, little cow there. Quite cool. Yeah, oh, trees. I like that. I like this one. Oh, oh, that's darling. It's, very ugly, it's a little but... toy one? Yeah, so it looks like it works. I always like looking at the French linens. I think that they're always, always good at French port camps. Just the work and to think everything's done by hand in the past. Look at the delicacy of this one. Oh, gosh, with the raised little hearts. Philip, look at that bird. It's just... Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful embroidery. There's nothing with either your or my initials. You keep looking out for them. Oh, these are actually really cool. What do you like? These two. Oh, no, they're pretty, but I don't think we need them. We also really need the chandelier for our bathroom, darling. Yeah, well, I still agree with that. <laughs> we didn't need it. But it has made a massive difference, hasn't it? This like looks that. like your wardrobe. I know. I like this dress at the front with the broderie anglaise, all the embroidery. Oh, you found a nice one. We have bumped into Sonia. Uh, Sonia and I are now clothes shopping. <laughs> that is really fun. That's yeah, that one, that's, that's really nice. Oh, pure 80s. Oh, that's glorious. We should do an 80s night one day. I love the cape. Wow. Look at the cape. And this is a great store. Do I need a cape? Of course you need a cape, I like the surely. Red, the red so. one. Oh, yes. Oh, that's, that's very I think you. my shoulders are not quite that is going to fit. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be cool. That's a woman's stuff. coat, isn't yeah. it? Oh, this is gorgeous. You should try it, Sonia. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. It looks amazing. It looks so oh, good wow. on you. That's perfect. It's really perfect. Uh, there's a mirror inside, apparently. What do you think on the cape? Um, well, I mean, it's a nice cape. I, I don't know if it's the best cape I've ever seen, but it's a nice velvet one. Oh, never mind. No? No. no. 200. Oh, yeah, no, it's not such a great cape. <laughs> all, all of a sudden, I really didn't need a cape. <laughs> <laughs> it could have Christmas in the castle. That is absolutely Christmas in the castle. Yes. I really like it. And it's really light, 40 degrees outside, it's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I think you should get it. Mm. It's really, really nice. I've fallen in love with this pink dress, but there is no way on earth that I would fit into it. Sonia, you would fit into this. I think that's so pretty. Uh, yeah. But that's very you. Yeah. That's very you. There's no it way I could get pretty. in. Why not? No, it's just, it's just too, yeah, it's too small for me. Too pity. 
this is where everyone's eating they have sausages and fries and it actually looks really fun and i would like to eat here but excitingly kim and imar and walt have invited us to meet them for lunch so we'll be racing off from here to go and have a nice lunch with my friends i love seeing these hats and all in their original boxes they are stunning you trying one for that well, they never fit, so... You can never find a big one. Try the top one as well. This one. I like them because that's a moleskin one. Oh, so, sort of, actually. Yeah, I think it needs to be maybe a tiny bit bigger. I was just on the side, so... It was, yeah, yeah. Let's have maybe a look. that's the way it's supposed to be. Let's have another look. Yeah. It's a little bit fishing here, that's it. Yeah, down a little bit more might be nice. Can you try the other one? Sure. Oh, they're tiny as well. It's a pity because they're the ones that uh, go small, so you can yes. travel with them. Which I really like. Me too. Just got a massive head, darling. It's <laughs> filled with ideas. <laughs> I love the little desk. This is really charming. Tiny roll top desk. Look inside. And that probably pulls out. That would be quite perfect for either, actually for the car salon. It's very nice. I really like it. It's probably loads of little secret drawers and things in it too. I really like that little desk. It was 950 euros, which I think is a little bit much. <laughs> Dana, you're in too. You're so well, good. Too. How are you? How are you? How are you doing? Kayla is also here. So Kayla, you were a guest at La Lounge, yes. and now you've come back as a volunteer yeah. with Sonia at La Motte Fille. I have. And yeah. you enjoy it? Oh, I love it. It's, it's spectacular. It's a stunning chateau, and the gardens are the most wonderful place to be. It's yeah. so peaceful. I'm so happy to be working in <laughs> Like, I couldn't work anywhere better. It's so nice. <laughs> She's suffering a bit in the garden, I think. With the heat. To, yeah. It's like yeah, we have to time it accordingly because during yeah. the middle of the day it's yeah. just so hot. In the morning and the in evening. In the morning and yeah. evening it's really nice. Yeah. yeah. I basically sit in the shade in the garden oh. right yeah. when I can. So <laughs> spend a lot of time there. Yeah, no, it's the most stunning garden. And we'll come and visit you this week. Yes. So thank you so day. much. I'm very excited to yeah, show everyone yeah. your stunning garden. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. The dahlias. Full bloom. Full bloom. Yeah, the dahlias <laughs> are. I can't and wait. The lavender, the lavender, you got the white, the lavender, the lavender, the purple, the mm. pink is, is now dry. Yeah, but it's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah it's, it's really nice. I'm yeah. really distracted by the curtains behind you because I really I like know. them. I was looking at them. They're, they're amazing they're curtains. Like that. It's a shame they're a bit short for us. Oh uh, yeah, they're quite short, but they've got the little little giraffe as well. Yeah. That's such a cute little journey. I just like the bird on it, basically. <laughs> Beautiful. Look, oh, that is that is really stunning. What lace! The intricacy of it. Yeah, it's really well done. Oh, I wonder it's how so much fine it is. To okay, I'll ask about that and the curtains. Good. I am very happy about those curtains, and Me they've got too. little giraffes on. We'll have a yes, proper look when ducks. we get home. Well, ducks. Mm -hmm. I didn't see the ducks. I'll show you later. Ducks. That's really cool. Uh oh, he spotted cutlery. We're doomed. We'll never get to lunch. No. Step away from the cutlery. There was no cutlery that I. That was my set. Okay. Oh. The, the cockatoo, cockatoo is very cool. So, this is the speed that we are now going through the ball camp because if we do not leave within the next five minutes, we will be late for lunch and there's still so much to see. Oh, more lovely linens and we can't even stop to look. Just delightful, all of it. Philip's other love, other than cutlery, is jardiniere. It's got a, it's got a pea on it. It hasn't. Oh, it's got two peas. From Chambord. P and C, I think. Uh, Chambord, I mean, Chambord Oh, yes, the porcupine with a crown. That is a lovely one. That's really hot. That blue one. It's quite pricey, I want that. Yeah, I'm not paying 130, but. You're lucky, is... oh, well, I'm lucky that's not J's. I know. I felt I had to step in if it had been PJ. If I had, no, 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 I would have, I would have gotten it. <laughs> what do you think? No, right? No, I think no. Well, we've been very successful today. It's amazing. Pretty. Now the bath is very cool. I think I'm going to stick with my copper one, though mine doesn't wheel. Um, this not... one doesn't anymore either, darling. Just well, the front one does. A little bit of restoration. We could be wheeling our bath all over the garden for baths in nice places. Keep dreaming. <laughs> oh. The last thing we have to do, we're just picking up the pelmets. These are very, very nice. They're going to make a big difference at La Lange. It's really these details that I think make the biggest difference to yes. a home. Philip, they are so nice. Look at the gilding. I'm seriously well spotted, Philip. But gold yeah. leaf makes such a big difference. Oh, I love them. Gold I really love them. It really doesn't have the same 
yeah. This is such a typical brocante event, watching Philip wander off with something large, cumbersome, and at first glance, a bit bewildering. It's quite ironic that we've bought pelmets and curtains, but they're not to go together in any way. I thought we were just about doing okay for time and I'd forgotten the hike back to the car. Oh. I really hope that these fit in the car. Do you mind holding this back for a second? Of course I can. I can't believe you carried it all this way. Look at just here. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's going to work. You got it? Got it. I knew we would get the <laughs> I wasn't so sure, so I'm very relieved right now. Okay. Right, now let's drive. Like the wind. Can't wait to get back to the chateau this afternoon and see how everything looks. Yeah. There's a pretty glorious collection of human beings over there. <laughs> this is ridiculously idyllic. What a lovely day. Oh, hello, hello everyone. Hey. I am very happy to see you. <laughs> Kim, you ordered tomato and mozzarella and that is what arrived. Yeah, but that is what arrived. I like this There is place. actually tomato and mozzarella in it. But so good. Yeah, and then a tomato oh ice cream. God. Yeah, and this and tomato ice cream, this Philip tasted Delicious. as well. Looks like we'll be coming back. Yeah. But I'm pretty excited about my crab tartare with quinoa. Really <laughs> mm. It's very concentrated. Yeah. I have scallops and courgette spaghetti. I like what they did there. <laughs> Managed to sneak in the courgettes as desperate as we are. <laughs> <laughs> and you're having pepper steak. Yes. It's quite warm for pepper steak, isn't it? That lunch? Yeah. I'm cooling down with the wine. <laughs> <laughs> it's so good having Dan with us here. So I just thought maybe there's a way of persuading him to come back to La Land. Was it a lack of pink in your room? Because I think there just there wasn't enough pink, was there? Look, if you had these in there as well. It's like PTSD just looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> You're saying this isn't gonna work. Yeah, I sometimes PTSD. just wake up mid-dream and just see like pink. <laughs> no, I'm back, I'm back. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, it feels like the wrong pink. I spent a lot of time looking. It feels like they're the what? wrong pink. <laughs> Do you does. think he's right? I don't think so. I was so. fully immersed in it for quite some time. <laughs> I had were. a pregnancy in it, basically. <laughs> Nine months in pink. <laughs> feels more red than... Oh, no, now you're packing me. No, I think the headboard is, is the same colour. Mm. Yeah. Have we made a mistake? <laughs> and they didn't even work on luring Dan back. Oh, I'm just going back and pink. check. Yeah, more pink, pink. They were too red for him. If we'd found pink yes. curtains, yeah. That would have fixed Yeah, it. he'd come back. We're laughing about the desserts. I have roasted apricots. It looks really good. And Philip has two desserts, which the waitress has just referred to as choquant. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty sure this restaurant has never seen anyone order two desserts before. But the waiter said it was um, La class. class. Oh yeah. La belle and Philip's been upstairs putting the curtains up in the pink room, Dan's favourite room. Meanwhile, I've been doing some research about the fabric and I've discovered quite interesting things. How are they looking? Oh, wow! He was right, they're a little bit redder, aren't they? But they are. I actually think it works really, really well. So these are the old curtains, which are yes. like, yeah. the... Uh, oh, can I see how that would look? Do you want to... Yeah. Okay, tell me what you think. So it would be like that around the bed. Yes, so Not that was the really idea. Sure, it finishes it, doesn't it? Not quite, actually. I think we need a white linen curtain behind the lace, so it's completely opaque. And okay, we have the lace more over here. Exactly. Out. And then a little like oval that. frame. I love this. That's so lovely. I think we should try and do that this week. I would love to. And these are quite luxurious, so our only problem is that the new ones are not long enough. But I think that's not the end of the world. For now, they'll be okay. And I've discovered, whilst you were doing this, I've discovered lots of exciting things about the fabric. So what did you discover? Because well, I think they're American. 
when we were at the Balkans, I was saying, look, it's obviously France. And Philip was saying, but there's something American about mm. it. And we, we kind of couldn't agree. And I also thought that this would be the famous giraffe whose name I couldn't remember. And so we were chatting about it. And it made me think on the way home, if it has got an American flair, but it's very French inspired, I should try some of the very big American decorating companies and see if it comes from them. I got it in one. The very first one I tried was Brunchwigifis. And sadly, it's discontinued in this colorway, but they still produce it in blue and green. And it's called Zarafa, which was the name of the famous giraffe. No. Yeah, so the giraffe was the key. The key. What's the name of the camel though? Uh, I have it? no idea who the camel is. I should look up who the camel is. <laughs> Maybe just, you know, Zarafa's mate who came <laughs> along for the trip. And I then discovered that the original designer of this one was Charlotte Moss. No. Yes, whose book we really love. We have her Charlotte Moss Entertains, and we find a lot of inspiration in here. Don't we? I mean, obviously, Philip and I love this book. You can see I straight away. I love so many things. I love yes. all the, the food like plates and the yeah yeah it's so pretty and she's the most extraordinary decorator so we've been thoroughly enjoying looking at this and she is the one who designed this twirl originally and it's such a shame that we can't get a little bit more just to yeah. finish at the bottom but as i say this this fabric isn't available in the red but i was looking at the price the woman selling them wanted 120 each so 240 for the pair, and I managed to get them for 150 for the pair. And I was thinking that was also quite a lot, quite a lot of money to spend uh, for the curtains up here. They're beautifully made, and that's what swayed me. And I looked up the price of what it would be for this amount of fabric in the blue or the green that they're still selling, and it would have been nearly $2,000 just for the front fabric, never mind the lining and the interlining. So I could not have made them for anything like 150 euros. I'm so happy. And they're really pretty. It's going to look lovely at night when it's closed. That is such a lovely, lovely fabric. I mean, we still need to get the proper hooks. Yes. We, make the top. <laughs> we didn't have the right hooks, which is why everything's at a different level. This side looks nice. Uh, that side's a little on the low side. Yeah. But no, we'll make it look lovely. Actually, personally, I don't mind the fact that they're off the, off the ground. Once we have little tie backs doing that, it really won't matter at all. No, not at all. And also, I think it's okay for, for like the attic bedroom. Yes, yeah, it's quite charming. Yeah. So what a great spot. I'm really happy with that. I want to make every bedroom a perfect little jewel box. And I think that we didn't actually show this, but we bought this light out of Volcans a while ago for this room specifically. Oh yeah, you found that one. Yeah. I don't like the uh, bedside tables in here. I want pale ones. I want something in this kind of color. I love the bedside tables though, so. Philip doesn't want me to paint them. No, I no. I paint those in a flash, but. But I love the marquetry, look. I mean, they just look too modern to me. And... They are modern. They're like, what, 50s? I guess so. So these are under Philip's protection, which means I'll be looking out at poor counts for some white ones to go there and they can go into under Philip's protection in the attic somewhere. Uh, <laughs> now I'm going to run and get changed because tonight we are celebrating. I can't believe the day is here that we're actually celebrating 200,000 subscribers. It's an unimaginable number and it's a perfect evening for it too. Dana has been so sweet. She's come here to cook a big meal for us all tonight. And in fact, she's going to be filming it for her channel. I wonder if we can see a sneak peek. Hello? Oh, sneak peek for everyone. A preview of Dana's channel. <gasps> Dana, wow. Wow! Hey, it's not all down. Yeah. Well, oh! Okay. Oh, I genuinely didn't know! Whoa, 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 whoa! Boys from Yak Yak Cuisine! Hi! <laughs> Hi! Okay, so, I'm just washing up. I have nothing to do with You're just washing up and looking glamorous. And uh, what, what, yeah, what have you cooked, Maria? Well, we've done a uh, Middle Eastern Mediterranean night. So we're doing mize. Yes. So I've done uh, dolmades or kupepia, as they're called in Cyprus sometimes. Oh, um, Philip is going to love you forever. Yeah, he, he looked pretty excited. Yes. <laughs> and um, Chloe and Dana helped me roll them. So the ones that are opened are, I'm saying they're theirs. They're theirs. Yeah. Um, uh, and then I did the tzatziki and the bread. I did the Cypriot bread called kulu. Oh, what a night. Yeah, with the spices I brought. Oh, this is such yeah. a celebration. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, it's a nice kind of, you know, mix of all the different countries and cultures. And it's a completely lalam yeah. dinner, basically. Yeah, exactly. 
great. Perfect. And it's great because there's so many uh, different types of things, like little nibbles. So that's my favorite. And everyone just takes whatever they want. Yeah, and it's just all a mix. I yeah. wish every dinner. And there were are no like rules. That. Yeah. <laughs> no rules. Wow. I know, right? I hear it's no rule night at La Land. <laughs> so yeah, actually, in this table, Maria did this. between the two chefs at the moment I'll be honest <laughs> well this is this is the the salsiki that Maria made yes. it looks amazing and you have red cabbage white mm. cabbage here mm. it's the salata matbucha mahmuma it's the tomato uh, cook salad wow these are the hummus with the uh, tahine the Israeli salad here you have alisa tahine and you have pickles of course mm. uh, this one is with arrogant oil and here, Stephanie. <gasps> Falafel mix, you don't even need to tell me. I can smell it from here. You can? I love it, because you make it with cardamom. Yes, looking forward to eating. Oh, well, I think everyone outside is pretty excited. Is that the bread okay. that Maria made as well? Oh my God, oh my God. This is brilliant. <laughs> it's the best bread ever. Best bread with, She ever. made it today, and we just couldn't s just stay away with the, the smell. Mm. Could you introduce yourself to everyone, yes. please? Um, I'm Chloe. Um, my friends and family call me Coco. And I'm uh, from California, but I went to school in Utah. And I'm so excited to be here. You've just summer. arrived as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. so, so lovely oh, having you here already. Oh. <laughs> you're, you're brightening up the kitchen. Oh, you're so nice. <laughs> it's so, Dana's so talented. And I mean, yeah, so go watch her video because <laughs> she has got this on lock. All of those look so good. Yeah. Thank you. That meal looks amazing. I'm thinking that I should hit big new numbers of subscribers every week if it's going to be like this. How quickly do you think I can get to 300,000? I think it might be a little while till the next feast. Mm. Getting hungry just looking. Yeah. Looks so good. Oh, the aubergine. It's the hedgehog. Do you want to come and meet? Look, the hedgehog. I'm guessing it's the same one. Is he seriously joining the 200,000 celebrations? I think she's pregnant. You might be right. Yeah, because when they look for like uh, indoor, they look yes. for a space where to do their baby. And that would explain the uh, extraordinary fatness levels. <laughs> Hello, Hook. I think she's just hoping that you take her in again. Oh, she's so cute. Oh, there's too many of us. We're scaring her. I'll, I'll step further back. Thank you for coming to join us. That means a lot to me. Maybe you're right, maybe she's trying to get inside. Somewhere to a nest. Yeah, it looks as though she's looking to nest. Mind you, last time we thought she was needing help and it turned out she was just a little bit fat. Maybe she's pregnant. Yeah, it would explain a lot, wouldn't it? Can we get her a glass of champagne? Um, <laughs> Join in? Maybe some water? Yes. <laughs> maybe some salad. <laughs> Is this the halloumi that you brought? Yeah, from Cyprus. From Cyprus. Yeah. Oh, wow. Maria. Yeah. But please don't eat it because if it comes Yeah, no, no, down, you don't need to tell us twice, honestly. Right. No, we're going for it. <laughs> oh, it smells so good. This is my favourite food. Lots of nibbles mm. like this. Yeah, it smells so good. It's a little happy. bit of everything. Yeah. Mm. Love it. Uh, yeah. It's like a rainbow of <laughs> flavour. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh, thank, more. thank you. 200 more. Thank you. 200,000 more. <laughs> <laughs> I did the same with Dan, actually. <laughs> So basically, we decided to millions and millions yeah. more, and not only for Chateau Diaries, but also for Dan's vlog and for Dana's vlog. And Philip, if you ever Felix post a video, <laughs> <laughs> in my spare time. <laughs> Thank you to all of you who subscribe to this channel, all of you who watch it, and a special thank you to my patrons. Lots and lots of love from Lala. See you all on Sunday.